As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. I bought over a hundred of them, so I'll make $800 on these shirts, different colors, different sizes. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We have a big day today and I have these two little guests with me. It's not often I get to have Reagan in here. Um, she does not have gymnastics today, so we're excited to have her in here with us and she wanted to be in. Um, I think uh, Turner wants to be in here a bunch too, but uh, today is Sissy's day and Sophie's in here too, as usual. So um, she's in here for a reason actually. Um, we have been selling a few things out of the Homeschool Hustler store and she is going to be shipping with me today. I'm going to teach her how to package some things up because we're paying uh, her and Turner every time we sell something out of their store and they are going to save it away. Can you tell them how much you've saved away already? Come on over here. Um. <clears throat> how much have you saved? How much is um. in your bank account? Fifty dollars already is what she's got it. And do y'all see this? Do y'all see her hair? Look at that. I think she watches a little too much Rally Roots. <laughs> I think is what happens. I'm not sure, but she came back from um, Roanoke yesterday and had that in her hair. And Daddy thinks it's precious. Yeah. Should we do that to Sophie? <laughs> At any rate, all right. You go sit over there, and I'm going to talk to these folks for a minute. And then we're going to um, get this shipped off. Thank you for this purchase on their store. And so far, I think that's up to four items so far on their store. We don't have that many listed, maybe 12. I'm going to put a few more on there. And every time something sells, um, we're going to put money away for them. And they're going to use it for different things. All right. Uh, we sold $383.04 today. Pretty, pretty good day, um, considering I haven't been listing that much. Um, first up on the list is this uh, spider. This is a used spider. Had my oldest son blow it up and take pictures of it, and it is going off. It sold for $80 plus shipping, and uh, we paid, they were asking $15. We ended up paying about $9 each. Um, there were, no, a little bit more than that, $11. There were uh, nine of them that we paid $100 bucks for, um, and we made a pretty good chunk of change already on selling I think three of them and still have a bunch left so this one's 80 bucks out the door plus shipping all right uh, next item we have and these have been sitting around a little bit longer than I like this was part of a huge fiesta wear lot that we have sold so thrifting 101 you know I do sell some dishes every once in a while not the collectible high quality stuff that you you find but we do we do sell a little bit and they are going to be, I think, $19.99 plus shipping. I'll have to do a good job of packaging those up. Um, we're well into the profit on that item already, so um, that's going to be pure profit. Uh, VHS still sells. I say it all the time. Now, this is not something I would have ever bought on its own to resell because we only ended up making about $3.70 on it. sold for $8.61, I think. Um, it is Little Nemo. Um, and it, it was still in the package. Wouldn't have bought it on its own, but it did come with that giant lot of Disney VHS that was still sealed. So um, I was like, well, what am I gonna do with it? Give it to the Goodwill or make 350 off it? So we made 350. All right, uh, next item is that watch we were talking about the other day. We ended up selling it as is, needs battery, and it um, has a few little dings and whatever. I put it out there probably a little lower than I should have, um, but I was a little concerned about it, you know, not testing the item 
selling something as is I don't want somebody to be upset if it shows up and they put a battery in it and it doesn't work and so we dropped it down I think the price that we got on it was $30 plus shipping it was from that yard sale um, that we made that great deal the other day and bought everything well bought everything that we wanted to pick out of so that's almost pure profit in the end but we got to subtract from the original amount we we started to sell these g-shocks or these casio g-shocks are something you should look out for i have bought them for 50 cents a piece when the batteries go dead in them sometimes people just want to get rid of them and you can grab them so good little bolo all right next item up this was in the video from the abbreviated yard sale day that i really wasn't going out to find stuff for ebay it was really more about the booth and we found this harley davidson leather jacket looks to be in perfect condition size small and i mean it looks like it's never been used or worn um we paid i think 25 dollars for this one along with another jacket um and i said on the video it'd sell for 50 bucks all day long plus shipping i put it out there for 60 bucks 59.95 plus shipping and it sold in a day so um, probably could have put it out there for $69.95 and waited, waited till Christmas and definitely got that as well. There wasn't that many out there of this size and this condition. Probably should have, but I'm happy to get a quick sale on it. Um, and almost pay for, if you remember, we paid, I think, $70 for everything that day at that yard at, at, that we picked up at the yard sales. And that one's going to go a long way towards paying for almost everything we got. So on a day where we weren't trying to make a bunch of money, um, you sleepy little girl, huh? You sleeping? Is she a good pillow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, now this one's interesting. So we are in these booths and the kids are helping us with that. And, uh, Reagan's been working hard back there and you've been pricing stuff. Reagan actually writes neater than I do. So <laughs> she's been doing the stickers for me, uh, the CWP on them. And I've been just filling in the number when I price something pretty bad when your little girl can write neater than you but um you know you got to pay rent for these places and then you give them 10 percent and funny enough i've already paid for the first month of rent just simply by going to the store um and picking up things that catch my eye this was a cat hat i think i had it in a previous video it was two dollars and i picked it up one day moving stuff in and out of the store and it sold today for fifty dollars so that pays for the first month's worth of rent right there and i have picked up some other things let me see i've got two more right here i don't know if i've showed you these so i picked this one up uh, two days ago i'm just putting a few more things in the booth where's the beef hat and this one do you remember, were you with me when we did pick this one up yeah i can't remember what we paid for it i'll have to check my it was half off of a booth that was uh, leaving there and I want to say it was five dollars, so two fifty. I want to say for the Where's the Beef. Um, I think this one's gonna go for twenty plus shipping, fairly easily. And then there's one more hat that I saw yesterday with me and Turner. We went in there to do something, and this is a fifteen percent wool made in Taiwan. But I've never seen this design, this Detroit Red, Wing, Red Wings. And it was five dollars, which is way more than I'd want to pay for a hat. But um, I listed this one, I think, for forty dollars. I don't expect to get $40, but um, I'm definitely going to make money on it. So these three hats when they sell, you know, I would have never been in that place had I not started the, I don't know if you can tell this, but I hang the hats up. You know, this place is uh, pretty small. I'll have to do it later. Um, really, really small little eBay cave. So I make use of all the space we have. And part of that includes up there. So, hopefully you can see that. We um, have already made a bunch of money that we wouldn't have made on these small items um, that is going to end up paying for, you know, any expense we have in this booth um, and the connections we're making as well um, for items. So, pretty happy about that. The next item is an Aladdin. I've talked about these before this little guy right here i buy these little aladdin things all the time for a buck or 50 cents and then i sell the cup and i sell the stopper this one went for eight bucks i don't know it's it's something like that sells for eight bucks you're making 450 on it, about four dollars profit on it about four dollars profit on it 
and they all have the cup as well. So you're going to make like $7 profit on those things. Um, and they're so easy, so small and light. I think it's worth it. I thought you were talking about the movie. What? Aladdin? She Aladdin. thought. Have you seen the new Aladdin movie? Yeah. Do you like it? Yes. Do you? It's really good. Yeah. Did you like the old Aladdin movie? Oh, uh, yeah. The cartoon one? Yeah, with Robin Williams? So Robin Williams or Will Smith, y'all tell me down below in the comments. Robin Williams or Will Smith. I heard they I heard Will Smith did a great job too. Yeah. But in my opinion, Robin Williams, one of the greatest acting jobs he ever did, he never even appeared on the camera. So um, at any rate, you let me know down below for you Disney fans. All right, uh, to Coleman Church. This was a retail arbitrage item at Sam's Club last year. And these are some neat looking t-shirts. Um, and you buy them at the end of the season when it gets cold because they're t-shirts and they're just now starting to sell. I expect to sell a lot in the fall, um, getting towards Christmas, especially because this one's got, you know, kind of a Christmassy look to it. And they were $40. Um, the tag was 40. Of course, they were selling them probably for half that in Sam's Club. And then I got it 75% off. I think they were 471 in the end, which isn't great. Um, you know, a little bit more than I pay at Goodwill, but they're brand new with tags, and I'm selling them for 20 bucks a piece. So let's do some quick math there. 20 bucks. Well, let's say it's three dollars in fees. Let's say it's 350 to ship. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's a nine dollar profit on those shirts. Let's say it's eight, as you know, you got to decrease the price. So there's eight of them. I bought over a hundred of them, so I'll make eight hundred dollars on these shirts. Different colors, different sizes. Um, and they don't take up too much space. So, matter of fact, they're they're stacked up right behind right behind you guys, right behind the camera right now. So happy to sell those. Uh, and they both went to the same person, so it should cut down a little bit of shipping. I bought this item the other day, ninety nine cents at a Goodwill thrift that um, that we went on, and I think I showed it to you in a previous video. It's ninety nine cents, and it sold today. A little less than I told you it would sell for. I think I told you it'd sell for thirty plus shipping. It sold for twenty two dollars plus shipping. Uh, either way, it's a quick eighteen nineteen dollar profit. Pretty happy. And is that it? Have I showed you everything that sold today? I think I have. Um, you know, this is uh, some pretty good stuff for three hundred eighty three dollars. I've paid next to nothing for all of this. Um, it's going to be a pretty hefty profit day out of that three hundred eighty three dollars. I'm I'm gonna end up net profiting close to 220, I think, after shipping and all those things. So pretty happy about that. And the kids are gonna profit about get sold for 14, um, paid a quarter. They're gonna profit about seven dollars on this item, maybe eight. You like that? You like four dollars, huh? You like four bucks? Did you know it's a piggy bank? Did I know it's a piggy bank? I did know it's a piggy bank, but you know who didn't know it was a piggy bank? They didn't know it was a piggy bank. And I listed it as not a, not having that little stopper right there. And I don't know where you'd find a little stopper like that other than eBay, but I don't want to pay too much. I guess I should have maybe bought another piggy bank somewhere for a quarter and stole the stopper. But uh, hey, don't overlook local stuff. Um, people that are from hometowns, uh, can't access that local stuff and something like this is going to be sold and shipped outside of the state of Virginia uh, even though it's a Lynchburg Hillcat piggy bank and uh, so a lot of times you can sell that local so that's why I sell that Liberty stuff sell the local stuff on eBay and it'll find buyers across the country you'd be surprised thanks for joining us and don't forget to subscribe below and thank you, Reagan, for joining us today. We're happy to have you. Okay, tell all the Reagan if you don't know. We're gonna we're just starting homeschool. Are you excited about doing homeschooling? Yeah. yeah, we're excited about it, aren't we? Yep. Is Sophie excited about it? I think. Sophie doesn't get excited about much of anything, does she? Except for Odie. She got excited about Odie in the video. Pretty funny. So, at any rate, um, come on, come on. Sophie's got to tell him. Sophie's got to tell him to subscribe below. Can you do that? Can you tell him to subscribe below? Subscribe, subscribe below. below. All right. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Have a good Bye. one.